Welcome to the weapon kit tutorial. Uh, getting started, this video is going to show you how to spawn a weapon and set it up with the first person template. As you can see, we've added the weapon kit to the project. We're going to use the provided blueprints to set up our weapons. We'll start by editing the first person character blueprint that comes with the template. So we open up the blueprints and we're going to do some setup on begin play. We'll keep the existing code running and we'll uh, set up our weapons in this area here. So as of version 1.21, weapon kit comes with eight weapons. So we'll create a for loop that goes to zero to seven, so eight. And for each loop, we will spawn a weapon from one of the blueprint classes that we provide. We'll pass in the transform of the character actor make sure that our weapons will always spawn and don't get blocked and then for owner we'll pass in self for the class we're going to select based on the loop index so here we'll just put in the different classes of the weapons that we provide starting with the pistol, the auto pistol, the SMG, the shotgun, the AR, the sniper, and lastly the knife and the forest axe. So on each loop we'll spawn one of these weapons. We'll cast the result to the base weapon class. And then we're going to save a reference to this weapon uh, in an array. So we'll call this array weapons and we'll just change the type to array. And then we're going to add our newly spawned weapon to the array. The array helps us quickly switch between weapons um, and I'll show you how to set that up later. And as we spawn the weapon we're also going to attach it to the first person mesh. So this function is provided by uh, provided in the weapon kit. We want to attach it to the arms so that's the mesh 2p object so we're gonna pass in the reference to that we'll use the default socket provided here grip point and we're gonna apply an offset just to make sure that our weapon is rotated the correct way we're also gonna hide the weapon now that we've spawned it uh, since we don't want all the weapons that we've spawned showing up in your hands at the same time So now we've spawned all our weapons and they're hidden away. The next thing we're gonna do is set up a way to wield only one of the weapons. So we'll create this custom method or custom event and we're going to pass it a uh, weapon index, the index of the weapon that we want to equip or wield. So here I'm modding the index that you pass in with the weapon's length. And this is just to make sure that if you ever pass in a number that was higher or lower than the array size, it would just uh, fix it to the array size. 
we'll save the current index so that we know which weapon we've currently wielded. And then we'll use that same index to access the array and unhide the weapon that we want to wield. So we gotta make sure that's not hidden here. And we gotta make sure that it's hidden when we spawn. I think I forgot to do this. And then real quick, we will create an input. Um, so input one will wield the first weapon in that array. So we'll just call wield weapon and we'll pass an index zero. And let's make sure that the existing guns are hidden away because we don't want to see this, the unreal gun. So I'll just set the visibility to be off for now. And let's see how this works. So I'm equipping the weapon and I'm not seeing it. So there's a problem and that's the problem. It's facing backwards. So I put in the wrong offset. So we'll fix it here. It should be 90, not negative 90. So we'll change that. And then I'll also apply some values to offset the weapon to the side so there we go, that looks a lot better. So this is like a very quick way to get the weapon set up in first person. And now we'll set up uh, switching between the weapons. So I'll set up a few more inputs. We'll set the 2 and the 3 to spawn index 1 and index 2 in the array. And let's test that out. So uh, it's only partially working because we are forgetting to hide the previous weapon. So if we go back to the blueprint, we just need to add. Uh, some logic here. So in our wield weapon, we need to also hide the previous weapon before we show the new one. So we'll just take the old weapon index and we'll get the weapon from the array. And then we're going to make sure to hide it. So make sure it's hidden. So we're hiding the previous weapon and then we're showing the new weapon that we've selected. There we go, that looks a lot better. So this is a real simple tutorial on how to get started using the weapons. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to us on our Discord, uh, or you can reach out to us on the support site.